Hi everyone, welcome back. It's great to see you. Today we're talking about flows and specifically about flows running in user context and system context. So what does this actually mean? Well, when we run a flow, we can decide whether we want to run it in a user context or system context. If we run a flow in user context, it means that the running user, which is the person who's running this flow, that their profile and permission sets are going to be applied to the flow. So their object permissions, their field level access, their record level access, that's all going to be applied to the flow that they're running. If we were to run a flow in system context, then it means that we're not running it in user context, so we're just going to have none of those user permissions. Um, it's going to be run as if it's run by the system and the system doesn't have any of those profile or permission sets so it's not going to have any of that sharing restrictions or security at all. Now within system context we do have a couple of options. You can run a flow in system context with sharing and system context without sharing. And what the with and without sharing means is do you want to run it with the sharing rules or without the sharing rules of the user? So we can choose a flow to run in system context without sharing, which is going to ignore all security permissions. There's going to be none of that object level, field level, or wide or record level security at all. Blank. It's going to run as if it's almost an admin. Um, or we can run a flow in system context with sharing, which is going to enforce record level access onto that flow. So just to recap, there's kind of three different ways that we can run a flow. We can run a flow in user context. We can run a flow in a system context without sharing, so without any sharing rules at all, or system context with sharing, which enforces record level access. I hope that was a bit of an overview for you on the different ways that we can run a flow and I'll see you back here for our next flow video.